Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in this particular video I am going to show you how you can write a MATLAB code to get the uh, error or cost function versus number of iterations plot. Okay, so we have seen the gradient descent algorithm in our previous video and we have came up with the mean square error like this which is function of the slope as well as the intercept okay which is basically 1 by n n is the length of the data point or number of data points or samples summation number i equal to 1 to n yi that is actual value of training data minus of mxi plus b which is predicted value using our linear regression model we are taking square of that we are taking summation of all the points and we are dividing by the uh, total number of data points that is our mean square error right now let us try to uh, plot the mean square error versus the number of iterations okay so one thing is obviously clear as each time we try to uh, make the curve such that the error reduces so what will happen eventually if you increase the number of iterations the error or this particular cost function which basically indicates how much uh, good in a good way the uh, predicted curve fits on our actual data uh, will obviously reduce as the number of iteration increases okay so here i have written a simple code to realize that clc cleared all close all format long then figure then I have taken small data point x and y and then what I will do just same code I have applied as I have shown in my previous video just modification is each time during iteration the slope the intercept and the error we will store in a matrix okay so slope equal to one empty matrix we have defined here cost as one empty matrix we have defined here intercept as one empty matrix defined here then we have uh, uh, iterated basically 10,000 times each time we are basically calculating the error and that is y minus predicted and then see here what we are doing uh, here this part is nothing but basically the updation procedure as I have discussed also earlier and then see uh, COSTA in this variable actual error is stored that is 1 by length of x into summation over uh, uh, s square where s is y minus predicted here I have written right so that cost of variable we are storing again in cost so after the whole iteration thousand of thousand times in the cost the cost uh, values will be stored that is the error mean square error will be stored in the intercept basically our uh, intercept value for each iteration will be stored and in the slope our slope will be stored okay and then we are plotting basically x comma mx plus c and then we are creating a single matrix using the uh, slope intercept and cost okay that we are storing in e variable we can further process something if we want using this e and here we are basically plotting the cost function okay so let us run the code control a evaluate selection okay some error i think we are getting let us check undefined functional variable is a okay so where is a say so this is slope right so this will be slow or otherwise for the time being let me remove this particular part not required so if i run control evaluate selection i will be getting the best fit curve after 10,000 time iteration as this black one whereas our points are these blue curves and see the cost function versus number of iterations curve we are getting like this I think you cannot see this properly but here if you closely observe here see cost function initially very high then it decreases very rapidly and goes close to zero okay so let me do one thing I will just take suppose first 100 points and let me plot that so plot number of iterations is stored in h variable right so h of 1 colon 100 and cost also I will take first 100 values so it will look properly if I run see I will be getting the cost function versus number of iterations like this and here you can observe that as we keep on increasing the number of iterations the cost cost function is rapidly decreasing okay kind of rectangular hyperbola type curve we are getting okay and this is what we should get actually now suppose here we are uh, 
making this particular E where slope intercept and cost is stored. So what will happen eventually you know uh, like here in here see you will be getting one 10,000 rows and three columns uh, double matrix if I double click on this workspace I will be getting the values okay first one is indicating basically okay just let me select once first one is indicating the slope the second one is indicating intercept and third one is indicating basically the cost function okay and here these are basically values of slope intercept and cost function and eventually you can see what is happening slope is coming fixed to nearly 2 intercept is coming nearly close to 3 and cost function is actually cost that is mean square error is very less okay very less so if I go further down it decreases much and eventually here you can see last we are getting the uh, slope as 2 intercept as 3 and the uh, mean square error as 1.0255 e to the power minus 29 which is very small okay so like this uh, you can get the data set values for uh, the each iteration so that you can store that in kind this kind of e variable that's what i wanted to show you so in this particular video we have seen that uh, theoretically what should happen that cost function should gradually decrease as number of iteration increases that we have visualized practically also right same code i will be posting in the description box if you want you can check there thank you for watching